Hey everyone, welcome back to another game. So before I start the game today, I'm going to try to mentally prepare myself with a plan. And the plan is to develop all the pieces before going in on attacks. I was thinking about the last game, and I think what really lost it for me was just throwing my pieces onto the opponent's side of the board without uh, developing all my minor pieces. I think it was the bishop and the rook. And I think that's what got me that game. Um, so I'm going to try to do better about that and be more conscious about it this game. Let's see if it actually goes that way. And here we go. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I think this is fine to trade and then we take the knight out. Um, or is the defense this way? Uh, I'll just go this way, whatever. I'm just going to focus on development. That's going to be my main thing. Development, development. Okay. Cool, cool trade there. Yeah, he can try to kick this knight. He can just take back. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. The other thing I want to focus on is just not hanging pieces. Um, I was thinking about the last game. I think there was three pieces I hung. I think two of them were pawns and then uh, one knight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I'm going to try to do better about that this game. I suppose I could attack the pawn. I don't know if I want to... I don't, I don't know if it's worthwhile opening up the center. Um, I want to develop the light square bishop, so uh, obviously I want to let him out. But I don't know if the play is to go d6 or d5. I'm just going to try d5. Um, if he takes, I can just take back. Playing Lady from Canada. Maybe that's Lady or Lady, who knows? Okay, cool. Okay, so it's really tempting to take, have him take, and then take the queen. Um, but again, let's see. I'm going to focus on development before launching these attacks. So, bishop. Let's see where he can really go. Yeah, I suppose we can trade off here. Hmm. Okay, developing move. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> um, let's see. Can't really take there. Can't move. Suppose this is the only move. I had a feeling something like that was coming. Um. I have three defenders on f6, the knight, the rook, and the queen. He's got two attackers, so I think I'm going to have to defend this way. I know I could always move over as well. Um, I always get myself into trouble if I retake with the pawn here.
I've gotten into this position a handful of times where, uh, so let's just say he takes with the pawn, uh, and what's he scheming? Hmm. Definitely feels like a trap. Definitely feels like a trap. Seems like he's just trying to open up the G file for his queen. Knowing me, I'll probably go for it. This has to be a trap. I wonder if no, pushing up just seems like a bad idea. Um, oh well, I guess we go for it. I'm going to suffer for this in a few moves. I just know it. <laughs> Maybe I attack his knight this way on d4. Instead of taking the pawn here. Okay, this pawn's undefended. I don't believe we can defend that pawn with anything. I wonder if I just scoop my rook over and then throw my bishop on f8 to protect h6. It's an idea, but I also kind of want to... Yeah, so I can't ignore all these threats, obviously. Hmm. Can't block that anyway, can I? I don't think so. This is an interesting way to block the bishop. Uh, so he'll go here, and then it'll just be checkmate, right? So I think I have to block the bishop in. Maybe I, maybe I have to play this next. Well, his queen's a bigger threat, so I probably have to play f8 to attack the queen, and then I can go for the fork on those two. Probably put in the c6 knight onto e5 there. He trades, and then I can put the other knight on e5 and then try to target his bishop there. And then this threat will at least be taken away. He'll be forced to move back to like e2, I think. Okay. Let's see. So I'll probably take my bishop here. If I move my rook, then the rook is going to be undefended. Uh, obviously, I can't take there. See, he doesn't have any checks, so. Oh, wait, did I just lose? Oh, shoot, I just lost, huh? Damn. <laughs> ah, feels bad. Ah, feels bad, feels bad. You remember that prophecy that I foretold like 10 moves ago? Or no? When was it? On this move right here, after I took his bishop. I run into this a lot. 
where I open up the G file and then it all kind of just goes downhill from here. Um, yeah, what could I have really done here? I think the next best thing that I could have done was probably defending h7, so moving the rook up, um, potentially moving the queen up to keep an attacker on his knight and his queen. Well, let's go to the game review and see what the game review has to say. Yeah, it feels bad. I always lose to that, and it's always a little bit frustrating. But, um, yeah. Let's see what I could have done a little bit better here. Ah. So, game engine wants to push the pawn up sooner. Okay. How many moves did it ask? So, one, two, three. I know when the engine just recommends one move over and over and over again, it really wants you to make that move. <laughs> it looks like I made it two moves too late. <laughs> hmm. It wants me to take. I was trying to follow the principle, develop the pieces, and it didn't pay off. <laughs> it's okay. I stuck to my guns. I developed the pieces before I went in for attacks. I had a plan and I stuck with it. <laughs> this move didn't feel very natural. 94 didn't seem very natural at all. Yeah, so I was in a little bit of a, a debate about this, whether to move the queen over or block. Um. I think in the future I'm just going to start moving the queen over. Um, I always get myself into trouble when I defend the queen with the f pawn here. Um, I'm just kind of thinking back, and a lot of the games where I've done that, I've either blocked the queen in from leaving diagonally here, or I stack pawns, something like that. Um, I don't know. It just I feel like it just never ends well for me when I do that. So this is a blunder. Interesting. I thought this was some 1000 IQ move here. I didn't really think of it as a blunder. I was debating between pushing it up and just keeping the pawns in front. I know he wins a rook, but I was thinking about keeping the defense in front of the king there. I'm surprised that's a great move. Um takes h6 is a great move you capture that free bishop interesting so i had a really big lead here ah uh, really so i just threw this game away because um i left h7 undefended or unprotected um obviously that was mate so yeah i see what engine is saying now so really knight or queen or rook could have all been valid moves. Yeah, okay. GG. Uh, it's kind of a basic... T it always feels bad losing to like a basic uh, checkmate there. But just something I need to keep in the back of my mind. In my mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah. GG Lady23 from Canada. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.